So with that, we've got in the, the basic, um, you know, your basic idea. So what we can do is we can actually just do, um, let's grab this form here and let's start uh, forming out how we want the, um, the front end to look. So I'm just going to take uh, this here and we're just going to kind of start moving this over. Now these here, um, just going to grab like so, and then we're going to go into rotational mode and just kind of angle that over like so. And so that that's going to angle that. I also, just remember, you know, you want to pay attention to your backspacing and stuff like that. So all right, we're just going to move these over a little bit. Um, so you got to just make sure, you know, what you're select, that type of thing. All right. So once that's done, we're just going to put this in here like so. And I don't know, I'm just going to, I'm going to have fun with this. It's not going to be anything in particular. So we're just kind of moving along like this. And so let's see here. For all intensive purposes, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just extrude this inward. Um, and the reason I'm just extruding that inward is is to give me the indented look of, you know, the big muscle engines and stuff like that. Now, the thing is, you know, low poly, you know, you got to worry about um, you got to worry about pretty much everything with low poly. Um, you know, so it's all about how much, how much uh, information you have on there. So I'm just going to chain for this. Um, but I'm going to go back in to chain for and turn off my poly count like so. And then I'm going to just make this a three chain for real quick here. Actually, no, just keep it at one. And so, okay. So what this is doing is basically giving me, and you you can go in and you know clean up the edges and stuff like that, um, and it's basically just giving me a rounded corner to so it's not so everything is not so perfect, um, perfectly angled. So once that's done, I'm going to just collapse this. So once that's done, you want to um, essentially have your idea of what you want for this grill. So um, on this particular one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab these two polygons in here and I'm going to hold shift. Oops. I'm going to hold shift and drag and I'm just going to drag those and I'm going to clone them to an object. I'm going to just say grill. So that's going to be a separate piece. So let's go in and play with the grill. So the first thing we have the grill. Um, let's go in and um, fix up. Let's uh, let's see how do I want to do this. Let's first go in and inset like so, and I'm going to inset one more time like so, and the reason I'm doing that is because then I can just grab this loop I should have grabbed just the loop and I can chamfer this forward and that gives me a nice looking uh, a nice looking base and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the edge mode here and I'm going to bring this and we're going to connect. Um, we're going to have some fun with this. So we're going to connect um, I'm going to connect three in there. One, two, and three. And so this is going to be zero. So we're just going to go down to and the pinch is going to move over here like this and then from there once I've got those pieces in there I'm going to go to oops I did not do that right so let's go back and do this again 
uh, connect, pinch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's in there. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go really quickly here. And you can scroll down. I think it's not the y-axis. It's the x-axis. So we're just going to grab these edges here. And I'm just going to alt Q real quick. Make sure I got things selected right. We're going to go and scroll down on the x axis. And we're going to do this one here too. So select, select, and select. We're going to do that on the x axis. Ooh, did I hit? The... There we go, x axis. So now what I can do is once I've got that in there, um, this basically is a square, so I can continue with my individual segments. So I'm just going to grab these, grab these, right click, and we're going to connect those in there. And at this point in time, we're going to do something along the lines, just so it's kind of even. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, something like that. So I'm going to connect that in there. And then I'm going to just add one. Like so. Like that. And I think it would be really cool to have this and let's pull this out and I'm going to just grab these verts here and this vert here and just pull them out so it rounds it out a little bit it's not so perfect yeah that looks good all right so once that's in there um, how do I want to do this I can do this couple different ways. Let's do this first. So we've got this and I'm going to go in and just grab all these actually I think I might be able to just bring that in there and I didn't want these so let's dump these out, dump these out Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I'm just making sure I got these here. Yeah, I think that's good. So then what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to chamfer. And now this is going to get kind of weird. So let's um, let's do this at point two five. And see how that looks. Yeah, a little bit thicker. Point three five. All right, and then um, I'll keep that. That's good. And then right click chain for point three five. That's good. All right, so actually, let's grab. I'm just going to grab it real quick and I'm going to cut from here on over to here. I'm just going to try and line it up vertically. Same thing on this one, just to give you me a little bit more information like so. Alright, and then um, let's grab these two and do that chain for a thing again. Done and now let's go in and start cleaning up. So go into edge here. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going in and deleting. my pieces and hit 
delete. All right, and then of course you want to straighten these two pieces up here. Um, you're probably going to have something along the lines of uh, let's grab these two here, collapse them, and then we can just let's pull this a little bit more, and then um, you can do an edge via the normal here and just move this up till it looks looks relatively straight. So just a matter of playing with it. Same thing with this one. But I'm going to get past that, and we're going to move into borders. And we're going to just say select all, and I'm going to minus the outside one. And a simple, ooh, did not want to do that. A simple grab on there, and oh, it's not liking me today. Let's see if we can just do a, a right click and extrude. Yeah, something like that. Just a little bit backwards. Not much. And there is our there's our grid. And of course, you know, you want to clean it up and, and do all that sort of thing. But now um, our grid now is in this um, the muscle car here, and we can put you know we can put logos and stuff like that. Um, you know, a number of different things in there. Um, I'm just going to really quickly attach it to this so it mirrors well. So now you have um, you have your grid in there for for the um, car. Um, then we can actually go in to polygon mode, and uh, let's just I'm going to just bevel this in like so. And I'm just going to go into vertexes. Sometimes, now as you can see, it starts getting kind of kind of funky in here. Uh, so don't be afraid to X-ray and uh, just kind of see what you need and what you don't need. So just a matter of you know cleaning up your bits and pieces and making. Let's uh, put this one out a little bit more. And um, so on and so forth. So we're just basically going in and cleaning up the different pieces. Now you can also go in um, and really simple. We can go in and add a sphere. I'm going to do this in the. I'll just zoom extends all real quick. So we're going to just add a sphere here. And then. Um, like so and then uh, in this sphere you can actually scale the hemisphere on and let's uh, go into the big one here so you can see what's happening so we're gonna just uh, do something like this this is what the old ones have so I'm just gonna move this in here and of course, you want to go in and clean up your your um, your information. Um, this is flat, so you probably want to go in and uh, grab this and align it in the Y. I think so. Align it in the Y and just make sure that it's same thing here. Align it in the Y. And it's just a matter of going into this one, you know, finding a good good place for it. If it's too big, you need to uh, resize, rescale, whatever you need to do to get it in there. And I'm just going to move this off, and I'm going to show you guys real quick uh, uh, just a, a basic trick that you guys can do. Um, so if you're doing an instance, you can go edit poly. And then what we can do is uh, simply we've got we've got the the bulb, and then you just need to 
go here, ring it, connect, and then grab that and just pull it out. This is out, ring this one, and pull that one in. So you can, you know, really quickly do that, and then just make sure you've got a hard edge on there, or a crease, so you can turn that into a crease. And then the other thing is go in here, let's grow this and subtract, and then grow two more, and go down and auto smooth. So now you've got kind of your your uh, light bulb here and so you can start adding those pieces Oops. and um, let's see let's get out of poly mode and just move this back and of course you want to go in and let's see here actually this might be just easier to do as a not a Z let's try Y so I've pushed that all in with the Y so now you can go in and with these polygons you can actually go in and, and um, put them where you need them um, you can move them over say OK and if you're going to scale it don't scale it in object level scale it in sub object oops um, make unique then scale and sub object level. Then, so basically just a, a move like so. We're just going to place that in there. And as you can see, you can start really quickly adding in. bits and pieces and so on and so forth. And again, this is just this is just time, you know, it's, and I'm not doing this as a full um, I'm not doing this as a a full on model. I'm just showing you the bits and pieces that you can do to to make it look a little bit better. Um, you know, things like taking here, cutting from here to here. Um, and then we can actually just uh, grab these windows here um, and I would do a some you know I would probably grab this and ring this and then I'd probably connect it a couple times um, something like this just move this one over and there now lies the um, the difference between the back window and the, f the front window. And again, just a matter of going in and making sure that you know you have a good line of flow here. And let's just grab these two pieces. And again, you know, simple. Let's do a bevel. You know, stuff like this. On the edge, chamfering around the edge, you know, to get your your individual, you know, piece going on, stuff like that. Um, adding in, let's see here, going in to add a mirror. Um, you know the old style. So let's do a sphere. Let's just do it in the uh, front, and we'll just flip it over real quick here. So you know, yeah, this is a huge mirror, of course. But um, what I would do is I would do a hemisphere to point five, and move this like so. And then, um, and of course, this is really big, so I would probably knock this down to about 30, probably about 16. And then we could actually go on and add an FFD here. And in the FFD, you can get the control points. And we can uh, grab these here, pull these, um, 
and of course you can see this mirror is just noxiously huge so let's scale this down grab all these scale down and then when you find the shapes that you like you can collapse let's see here collapse all say yes and then we can add in that's I like my polys so we can go in here and um, go into polygons and uh, just W this out real quick I'm just going to do this real quick and show you how we can simply extrude outward uh, let's scale this just a hair and then let's uh, bevel oops you know like the old school ones had um, and then the inside here let's just uh, grow once and we can simply inset oops Just make sure everything okay. So let's try this again. Let's inset. Oh, we got some issues here. So let's do just the selection tool here. Oops. Select this and make sure the back face is deselected. And um, let's try this inset again. There we go. This inset works now. And uh, let's scale that bigger. And bevel. You know, something like that. And of course, you can play with it a little bit more. Probably grab that center point and just do one of the mirrors. And like I said, I'm doing this in simple geometry, so it's nothing, you know, it's nothing fancy. Um, I'm just going to go affect pivot point here and move this pivot point from here to back here. And the reason I'm doing that is because, ooh, let's do this in. Okay, so. Yeah, so let's do this. Moves it over here. This one moves it up here. Something like that. And something like that. So that way, when we unhide everything and go to basically attach it, um, it's just a matter of grabbing that and putting it in here. Like so, and again, let's just you gotta place it right. And grab, rotate. So maybe something like this. And that in there and again it's just pretty much again just a matter of going in there and grabbing the right information grabbing what you're looking for what you need and we can even just shape it a little bit better something like this. I mean, of course, you want to play with it a little bit more and, and get it in there perfect and, and uh, you know, get that idea down. But I'm just showing you the basic process. So, and it's just a matter of going in and again, go in and once, you, once, you've, once you're happy with where it's at, which uh, for placement-wise, it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just showing you more, you know, so you get your get your uh, 
your information in there and it's just a matter of you know starting to build in you know again go and build doors you know I can I can actually go in and cut um, this door frame all the way through so I've, I'd have to cut away around and, and you know create the door frame out and you want to build in um, the different pieces um, and you know you can make an emblem real quick by just going in here and we'll go into the text selection and I'm just going to say uh, RWB I don't know and we're going to Let's see, we're just going to put that in here. Uh, this is front. So let's um, delete this. Let's start here. So RWB size is a wee bit too big. So we're just going to put this in here. Yeah, RWB. Okay, so, and then you change your font and do all that sort of thing, fun stuff. Um, and then basically, we're going to put a extrude on there. And we're going to just extrude it one, one point. So then we can move this up and over and put this on there. Now you, of course, want to make this individualized. And, and um, you know, this is part of your... part of your um, whole process here um, you know so basically we're just I'm like I said I'm just building this stuff out and kind of playing with it and uh, you know it's just a matter of going in and cutting the right proportions out and and as you can see just by doing the little bit that I've been doing it takes oops not shrink undo right so as you can see, it's just a little bit of that I've been doing makes a makes a huge difference. So I'm just going to remove this one up here and say OK. And uh, go into polygon mode, grab these four panels here as my window, extrude and bevel inward. Grab these, delete those. Um, I can grab these and you know it's and it's just a matter of you know you want to get in there and add the trim in there you want to get in and, and add all the bits and pieces so as you can see I'm just starting starting to build outward um, my model and you know even though I'm not finished with this it gives the basics ideas I mean you can put in your tail lights you can put in text you can put in a horde ornament um, you know cut out the door um, build chassis. Uh, I mean, you know, I can easily grab this here and uh, let's just ring this real quick and uh, chain for, uh, oops, not chain for, but we could chain for two, but uh, we can actually just go in there and connect and I can just really quickly add two pieces of geometry in there and um, Let's see here. And then we can add these two pieces of geometry. And I'm just really quickly going to uh, do this. And then we can go in to here. And I can inset these. And I can extrude those in there. And as you can see, it's just, you know, it's just what you think, what you like, what you think is cool. Um, you know, and that may be, you know, maybe not what I want, but I can always go back and fix it and, you know, create over it. So it gives you an idea of, of what's going on, you know. So uh, that's kind of basically how to just build a car, you know. Think of all the different pieces, you know, metal trim, bumpers, um you know how things are fitted I mean go to go to different blueprint places and look at um, look at that so it's just kind of the the rough idea of how to build 
um, the car. 